Beginning in 1966, actor Adam West played Batman on the classic television series that ran on ABC for three seasons. After it was canceled, Batman became an afternoon favorite of kids everywhere during the 70s and 80s. Those familiar with the Batman TV series know that Adam West's interpretation of Batman was a bit different than anything that had come before him or would come after. Adam liked to say that his Batman was the bright knight. Batman was truly a moment of triumph in a career that for Adam West was filled with more highs than lows. However, there was a day, well over three decades ago now, that truly broke this man's heart. And if you give me just a few minutes, I will fill you in on all of the details. But first I need to thank this video's sponsor. Fan Home is the online subscription service that caters to mega fans of franchises like Star Wars, Marvel Comics, Fast and Furious, and now I am super excited to share the Batmobile. So how does it work? When you subscribe to the service, each month you'll get a package delivered that not only contains the next assembly stage for your very own 1 8th scale Batmobile, but you'll also receive additional content designed to inspire. And let's be clear here folks, not only relive the history of a really fun television show, but it also allows us to learn more about one of the greatest comic book heroes ever on television or in animation or even on the big screen. Plus, the free gifts that you get along the way are pretty darn cool as well. I won't lie, I'm looking forward to rocking that Batman cap. Right now you can start your very own Batmobile subscription by using my code that can be found in the description section of this video. Check it out. Alright, now without any further ado, let's get rolling and talk about the day that truly broke Adam West's heart. It all started in the late 80s when Boston-based Zaire department store chain began airing this commercial. One, two, three. Where to, Batman? We're off to Zaire, old chum. At three in the morning, Batman? Christmas waits for no one, Robin. Holy mistletoe! We've been so busy fighting crime, I almost forgot. Fortunately, old friend, Zaire is open 24 hours until Christmas for the convenience of all good citizens. 24 hours? Holy rock around the clock! Well put, boy wonder. For that pesky prankster, the penguin? Remember the Christmas spirit, Robin. Right, Batman. Upon seeing that 30 second spot, Adam was absolutely flabbergasted. The actor playing Batman wasn't doing his own interpretation of the character. No, instead he was mimicking Adam perfectly. The way that Batman delivered his lines, the way that he moved, every single mannerism to the T. If you didn't know better, you would have thought it was Adam West. And you know what? Adam didn't like it one bit. He knew that he didn't own the rights to Batman. That was owned by DC Comics. But he did feel that he could claim ownership to his interpretation, and he did believe that his rights had been violated. As such, Adam got on the bat phone. Okay, okay, nah, you're right, it was just a regular phone. And he called his lawyers, who told him that they thought he had a case as well. However, before Adam could have his day in court, this thing happened. Yep, Tim Burton's behemoth of a movie starring Jack Nicholson as the Joker and Michael Keaton as Batman made its debut in the summer of 89. Without a doubt, Batmania was running wild, and I'm sure Adam would have agreed. It was a great time to be associated with the character in any way. I think it was probably around this time that Adam realized that regardless of what happened with his lawsuit in court, he would be able to leverage his time as Batman as a means of making a living for the rest of his life. Now with that said, that knowledge didn't make the judge's decision any less heartbreaking the following year when his case was summarily dismissed and Adam was told that he could not lay claim to any version of the Batman character, even his own unique and distinctive Bright Knight interpretation. I have to believe that as Adam left the courtroom, it was a day that truly broke his heart. He had been foiled by the unlikeliest of foes, not the Joker, the Penguin, or the Riddler, but rather a run-of-the-mill courtroom judge. But still, that didn't matter because, like I said, Adam and his pal Burt Ward were more popular than ever with comic book fans as well as nostalgic TV buffs. And it truly was the beginning of an Adam West renaissance. The guy seemed to be everywhere. He played an animated version of himself on both The Simpsons and The Family Guy, and even more impressive, he played himself in the television biopic, Return to the Batcave. 
holy reunion movie. Great Caesar's ghost. Adam West and Burt Ward together again. Holy henchman, Adam. Flashback to the original Batman TV show. It's so strange about two guys who run around in tights and live together. And find out what went on. Since Adam has a stuntman, shouldn't I have one? When the costumes came off. Has anybody seen my bat suit? Oh, life is good, Bert. Return to the Batcave, CBS next Sunday. Toward the end of his career, Adam got a chance to play the Cape Crusader a couple more times in the animated films, The Return of the Cape Crusaders, and Batman vs. Two-Face. Both of these movies are excellent and well worth watching if you're a fan of the original television series. Adam left us in 2017. I still remember where I was when I heard the news. I was vacationing in San Diego with my family at the time, and knowing that Adam wasn't with us anymore, well, it made that trip just a little less fun. A little less bright, if you will. You know, there are those who say that he wasn't a very good Batman, but folks, I must confess that he was my favorite. And yes, I love Keaton's version. And Christian Bell, he was amazing. But none of them compared to the version that Adam West created on TV decades ago. I'm just saying, he should have won that case. Alright, now it's your turn. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Was Adam in the right? Or was his lawsuit without merit? Let me know in the comments section and while you're at it, I would appreciate it if you enjoyed this video if you clicked on that little thumbs up icon. Maybe even considered subscribing to the channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from decades gone by. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching. What? You're still here? You must really like that old Batman TV show. Well, for you, my friend, I've got a little something extra. Hello, citizens. I'm taking a holiday from crime fighting in Gotham City. No rest from danger, though, because all around us is that deadly daily danger, traffic. I admire the way all you British children triumph over this danger by learning and using the road safety code, like curb drill. Before crossing the road, you stop at the curb, look right, look left, look right again, and then only if the road is clear, walk quickly across. Now, children, how does it go? At the curb, stop. Look right, look left, look right again. If all's clear, walk quickly across. Remember, be smart, be safe. Always do your curb drill.